I had to sit down on this little old bench. And my feet are killing me. I think they're swollen. Yeah, maybe you should soak those things in some hot water. Now I know what it must be like to be a hundred years old. <coughs> mm. I suddenly feel young again, Serena. Yeah, me too. I don't want to be a hundred years old. Me neither, but it is the hundred day of school. So let's celebrate. Hey, Serena, I wonder if there's a hundred students celebrating their birthday today. Probably not, but we'll find out later on today's show. And one of our Sunshine State readers is the 100 year old secret. Aaron has a book talk on that coming up. And speaking of reading, there are two students who have joined the 100 AI Point Club. Yeah, I hope you get 100 more. And guess what, Lions? Today is picture day. A picture is something you could treasure for 100 years. Now, let's get this show going 100 miles per hour. Happy birthday! Were there a hundred birthdays? No, but there will be more than a hundred students enjoying beef nachos in the cafeteria today. Black beans, fruit, and milk. Have a great lunch, Lions. Thanks, Javen. Now let's check this a hundred year old secret out. Here's Aaron. They go to? Of course. Obviously this. It's the Sherlock Files. It's what I've been searching for. It's the 100th day of school, and if you think 100 days is a long time, imagine 100 years. Woo, that's really long. Imagine having a secret that old. Can you keep a secret that long? I know I can't. And that's what happens in the book The 100 Year Old Secret. Picture moving to London and finding out that Sherlock Holmes is your great, great, great grandfather. Well, that's what happened to Xena and Xander Holmes. One afternoon, they were handed a note that led them to a hidden room and a secret society. Following the clues on the note, they come into possession of Sherlock Holmes' Unsolved Cases notebook. Then life becomes really exciting. Xena and Xander set out to solve the cases their famous ancestor could not starting with the mystery of a prized painting that vanished more than a hundred years ago. Will they find the painting? Well, we'll have to follow the clues of the 100-year-old secret by author Tracy Barrett. If you're a fan of mystery stories, this one is for you. So check it out at our library. That is, if you can find it. Thanks, Aaron. Sounds mysterious. I'm gonna go check that book out of the library. And the 100s keep on coming. Congratulations to Celia Rosario and Mr. Lisby's fifth grade class. And Shermaine McGee and Miss Dempsey's class. They have both earned 100 AR points. Way to read, guys. It's class picture day. Pictures will be taken in room 905. That room is in the first grade wing. Teachers, please line your students up from tallest to shortest. And speaking of pictures, some kindergartners made some really, now I said really cool 100 day projects. Let's take a look. I have 100 stars. Look, we made 100 popcorn seeds. 100 soda cats. 100 noodles. Thank you, Lions, for showing us your 100 day projects. Way to count. Primary chorus meets this afternoon at 2.15 in the music room. So sing it loud, guys. 
that's our show for today. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow, Lions. Bye. So, hair brushed, check. Teeth brushed, check. Ears clean, check. Then you're ready for picture day. Thanks.